So now let's talk about the deep copy and view in the NumPy package. So as you can see, I've imported NumPy as NP, and I have defined an array, a one-dimensional array. And for example, if I define something like this, if I simply type y is equal to x, and now if I print the x variable, and also if I print the y variable, and if I run the code, you can see that these two variables, I mean x and y, are the same. And also we can print the id of x and also the id of y and remember that id of x returns the location in the memory which this variable is located so if i run a code you can see that these two variables are located at the same location in the memory but you should pay attention that for example if you run a code again then the location would change but uh, you can see that the locations of the two variables are again the same. So if you run a code again, yes, it is going to be different. I mean, the locations are going to be different, but these two variables, the location of these two variables are exactly the same. And maybe you ask why the locations are different in different runs, because for example, when you run the code just now, for example, a location in the memory is empty, so you store these two variables in that location. But for example, when you run the code, for example, two minutes later maybe that location is not empty so you are going to store these two variables in another location in the memory and also let's talk about another interesting topic so for example if you change the value at index 0 in the x variable for example to 6000 and now if I print the x variable and if I print the y variable, and again, remember that we have changed the x variable, not the y variable. But if you run the code, you can see that the y variable as all has also been changed. And the reason for this is because x and y are exactly the same and they are pointing to the same location in the memory. And for example, in order to fix this problem, you can use something called deep copy. So in order to do so, I simply type x.copy. It means that I want to make a deep copy of the x variable. And I want to store that deep copy into a variable, let's say, called y. And now, because I have made a deep copy, so the x variable and the y variables are independent. So if I change the x variable, then the y variable is not going to change. So if I run the code, you can see that here is the x variable. As you can see, it has changed. But as you can see, the y variable hasn't changed because they are independent, because we have made a deep copy. And also remember that in the deep copy, variables point to different locations in the memory. So they are totally independent. So if I run a code, you can see that X and Y are located in different locations in the memory. So, so far we have talked about Y equal to X and also the deep copy. But there is another thing which is called view, which is somewhat similar to this one and also somewhat similar to this one. So let's talk about that. So here I simply type Y is equal to x dot view it means that i'm going to create a view of the x variable and i'm going to store that in a variable let's say called y and i'm going to talk about what is the view meaning so first of all let's print the id of the x variable and also print the id of the y variable and if i run a code you can see that they point to different locations in the memory so it is similar to a deep copy because the two variables point to different locations in the memory but for example, if I change the value at index 0 in the x variable, for example, to 6000, and if I print the x variable, and also if I print the y variable, and if I run a code, you can see not only the x variable has changed, but also the y variable has changed. So this property is similar to typing y equals to x. And maybe you ask what is the application of these topics, I mean deep copy and of view i mean shallow copy and this is the thing that you're going to see in future parts of this series so for example there are some functions which they do the exact work but for example one of them returns a deep copy and also the other one returns a shallow copy so as i've said you are going to see some examples of these topics in the future parts of this series now i really suggest you to watch this video which is on the screen now